You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in Leviticus chapter 20, and we'll be reading from the New Living Translation. The Lord said to Moses, Give the people of Israel these instructions, which apply both to native Israelites and to the foreigners living in Israel. If any of them offer their children as a sacrifice to Moloch, they must be put to death. The people of the community must stone them to death. I myself will turn against them and cut them off from the community because they have defiled my sanctuary and brought shame on my holy name by offering their children to Moloch. And if the people of the community ignore those who offer their children to Moloch and refuse to execute them, I myself will turn against them and their families and will cut them off from the community. This will happen to all who commit spiritual prostitution by worshiping Moloch. I will also turn against those who commit spiritual prostitution by putting their trust in mediums or in those who consult the spirits of the dead. I will cut them off from the community. So set yourselves apart to be holy. For I am the Lord your God. Keep all my decrees by putting them into practice. For I am the Lord who makes you holy. Anyone who dishonors father or mother must be put to death. Such a person is guilty of a capital offense. If a man commits adultery with his neighbor's wife, both the man and the woman who have committed adultery must be put to death. If a man violates his father by having sex with one of his father's wives, both the man and the woman must be put to death, for they are guilty of a capital offense. If a man has sex with his daughter-in-law, both must be put to death. They have committed a perverse act and are guilty of a capital offense. If a man practices homosexuality, having sex with another man as with a woman, both men have committed a detestable act. They must both be put to death, for they are guilty of a capital offense. If a man marries both a woman and her mother, he has committed a wicked act. The man and both women must be burned to death to wipe out such wickedness from among you. If a man has sex with an animal, he must be put to death, and the animal must be killed. If a woman presents herself to a male animal to have intercourse with it, she and the animal must both be put to death. You must kill both, for they are guilty of a capital offense. If a man marries his sister, the daughter of either his father or his mother, and they have sexual relations, it is a shameful disgrace. They must be publicly cut off from the community. Since the man has violated his sister, he will be punished for his sin. If a man has sexual relations with a woman during her menstrual period, both of them must be cut off from the community, for together they have exposed the source of her blood flow. Do not have sexual relations with your aunt, whether your mother's sister or your father's sister. This would dishonor a close relative. Both parties are guilty and will be punished for their sin. If a man has sex with his uncle's wife, he has violated his uncle. Both the man and woman will be punished for their sin, and they will die childless. If a man marries his brother's wife, it is an act of impurity. He has violated his brother, and the guilty couple will remain childless. You must keep all my decrees and regulations by putting them into practice. Otherwise, the land to which I am bringing you as your new home will vomit you out. Do not live according to the customs of the people I am driving out before you. It is because they do these shameful things that I detest them. But I have promised you, you will possess their land because I will give it to you as your possession a land flowing with milk and honey. I am the Lord your God, who has set you apart from all other people. 
You must therefore make a distinction between ceremonially clean and unclean animals, and between clean and unclean birds. You must not defile yourselves by eating any unclean animal or bird or creature that scurries along the ground. I have identified them as being unclean for you. You must be holy, because I, the Lord, am holy. I have set you apart from all other people to be my very own. Men and women among you who act as mediums or who consult the spirits of the dead must be put to death by stoning. They are guilty of a capital offense. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the privilege that it is to be able to read it together today. And Lord, it's interesting to look at the stern warnings that you gave the people of Israel in this portion of Scripture. Many of the things that you warned them against doing are things that are commonly practiced in our era, but yet in their context you warned them that these things were a capital offense. And under the system of government that you had set up for them, those who practice these things would be executed. And Lord, we know it's not your desire ultimately that people be executed. It's your desire, as you state in this portion of your word, that we walk in holiness, that we not adopt the ungodly practices of unbelieving people. So when we look at a portion of Scripture like this and you give out stern warnings and severe forms of reprimand, it's also clear that you're trying to persuade the people not to take their lives in a direction that will bring judgment upon themselves and invite death, disease, and depression into their lives. Lord, we're in the same spot. There are practices that are indulged in by people who do not believe in you, and people who do not have a relationship with you through faith in your Son, Jesus Christ, and these practices are things that believers wrestle with as well. And it's a struggle in the midst of this world not to adopt the mindset and the practices that are indulged in by the people around us. But your calling on our lives is that we live as men and women who have been set apart as your possession. We belong to you. We have hope. We have a future through your Son, Jesus Christ. Our sin was atoned for. Our new life was secured through Jesus, and it's your desire that we not go back to the life that we once led prior to coming to know Christ. So thank you for cautioning us not to indulge in worldliness, and thank you for the power that you grant us to live a life of holiness as your Holy Spirit sanctifies us and sets us apart as your possession in this world. We're grateful for all of these things. And we thank you for loving us enough to tell us the truth. And we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks again for listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I wanted to take a quick moment to highlight a resource that I've written that's now available to order. It's a book called Who is God? And it's an encouraging study of God's nature attributes, and transformative work in our lives. And if you're looking to get to know God better, I'm convinced this will be a very helpful and very informative resource for you. So to learn more or to order a copy of the book, Who is God? Please visit DesireJesus.com. The book is available right now. Thanks again for listening and have a wonderful day.